money market and capital market securities. We are going to work on project one, trying to find financial information about money market and capital market instruments. Let's first talk about money market instruments. Money market instruments are short-term debt instruments to help the government, individuals, and firms raise money for the short-term needs. The government raises money for short-term purposes through issuing treasury bills through the Fed Reserve. These are considered riskless securities. If you need a riskless security for overnight, you go to a bank and purchase a repurchase agreement. If an, a, an investor has some short-term cash that they want to earn higher rates of return, they can go to a bank and purchase a negotiable certificate of deposit. To help banks trade their extra deposits and get deposits to banks that have large loan demands, federal funds are transactions between banks to switch cash. Then bankers' acceptances facilitate international trade so that central banks get involved, can manipulate currency rates, and help make sure imports and exports work properly. Commercial paper allows Fortune 500 companies, large corporations with high credit ratings, to raise short-term cash in the money market. Now let's talk about the capital market. Again, the government, individuals, and firms need to raise long-term cash for long-term projects or to build factories, build roads, etc. So the federal government issues treasury bonds and notes. There are also agencies to help facilitate mortgage transactions and other agencies of the federal government that issue bonds. Municipal bonds allow states and localities to find long-term debt for their long-term needs, building schools, building their roads. Mortgage bonds are issued to help individuals pay for real estate. Corporate bonds, again, allow high credit rating corporations to raise long-term funds in the capital market to so that they can purchase long-term capital. Corporate stock is to help facilitate shareholder purchases of corporate assets. Now, let's go to the internet and find those securities. The first thing you want to do is go to online.wsj.com. Also just typing in wsj.com will get you to the site. This is the online version of the Wall Street Journal. Go to the Market Data and Tools, the pull-down menu, click on Market Data Center. In the Market Data Center, you will see a at the top of the screen In Markets Data Center, you will see at the top of the screen, Bonds, Rate, and Credit Markets. Go to this menu, go over to Money Rates, click on Money Rates. This is going to give you current rates on all money market securities. So, today, U.S. Treasury Bills, and I scroll down to find the Treasury Bill auction that happened on January 16th. That four-week, 13 and 26 week, which are the maturity dates for Treasury Bills, the rates that they are trading at. Remember, you're buying this through a Federal Reserve Bank, and pretty much anyone can, can purchase them. We're buying through on the primary markets, so you do not need a, a financial intermediary to do this transaction. Next, let's buy a repurchase agreement. Repurchase agreements are overnight transactions, so they're going to be called overnight repurchase agreements. And both the U.S. and the U.K. offer these agreements. So. Go ahead and pick an overnight repurchase rate, make the transaction, and have the individual buy it through a bank. Next we have certificates of deposit. Certificates of deposit are issued in one month, three month, and six month intervals. You do have to scroll way down to find these on the screen. Again, one month, three months, six months. Decide the maturity date, choose a certificate of deposit, figure out an investor, purchases from a bank or a savings and loan. After that, we want to go and talk about the Fed Funds market. Again, Fed Funds are bank-to-bank -bank transactions in order for banks to trade reserves. So, realize the Federal Reserve sets a target rate. However, due to the credit worthiness of the bank, there are different rates out there for Fed Funds. The lower credit worthy banks pay a higher rate. High credit worthy banks pay lower rates. 
Select the target rate, and that's your Fed Funds transaction. Choose two banks. Now we're going to go into the international market and talk about bankers' acceptances. Again, bankers' acceptances help facilitate international trade. So figure out something you want to export or import, excuse me. I'm going to import Italian shoes. So I will choose something short term because shoes can get be purchased and shipped fairly quickly. However, you're going to, if you're going to ship front end loaders, you're going to go to a long term bankers' acceptance. Figure out something you're going to import. Tell me that. Give me the bank you're going to import it from. Remember, they are going to be the issuer of the banker's acceptance. So Bank of Italy is issuing this banker's acceptance for 30 days at 3.93%. Finally, the way corporations raise money in the short-term market is through commercial paper. Again, commercial paper is issued in many different increments depending on the need of that institution for money. How long do they need it for? Realize there are regular commercial paper and dealer commercial paper. Because they're going through a dealer, it is more expensive. You're paying a middleman. Commercial paper issued through the institution itself, these are the rates. Choose a maturity date, the rate, and the company, usually a Fortune 500 company, which is very credit worthy, can issue this commercial paper. Again, no middleman. Now we're finished with our money market instruments.